Back in July, the Boston Globe All Scholastic were released, and there were several Rockets who earned that honor. First up is no surprise, Nick Pisano, the leader of the boys lacrosse team. The Bay State Herga MVP totaled 65 goals and 38 assists this year. Throughout his four years, he has collected 176 total points. He is one of the best in the state and will be continuing his career at Bryant University. Now on to boys volleyball, where there is quite the list, starting off with Nolan Leary. The two-time Bay State All-Star led his team in blocks and aces and was the centerpiece in this year's championship run. Leary will be completing a postgraduate year at Bridgeton Academy in the fall. Next up is junior outside hitter Ethan McCarron. He had a breakout season in only his second year. McCarron totaled 137 kills, including 13 in the cha championship game. He also claimed a spot as an all-star and was a member of the no National Honor Society. After being honorable mention last year, Raymond Wang claimed a spot this year. The junior setter had the best year of his career. He collected 529 assists, and throughout two seasons, he had already totaled 1,009 assists. This takes us to the Division I Player of the Year, Ben Putnam. This is his second nod for all scholastics, and this year Ben tallied 259 kills, 85 digs, and 15 aces. The Massachusetts Volleyball Player of the Year will be taking his talents to Ohio State. And finally, the Boston Globe Division I Coach of the Year, Dave Powell. This is his third Coach of the Year honor after leading his team to a 24-0 season and back-to-back -back titles in his 12th year. Whether you are ready or not, there is only one more month until fall sports are back in action. The schedule has been released, so here's a lowdown of the games you need to mark on your calendars. Starting off with football, there's expected to be a lot of new faces this year, so what better way to see how they start off with the first game of the season, a rematch with the Natick Redhawks in Natick on Friday, September 9th at 6 p.m. And then, of course, the oldest public high school football rivalry will take place again, this time on Memorial Field on Thanksgiving, November 24th at 10 a.m. Moving on to field hockey, the girls will host a Division II state champions Westwood at Tefazio on Wednesday, September 28th at 4 p.m. Heading now to the pitch, girls soccer starts this year off strong against a tough non-conference opponent, Marshfield, on September 6th at 4 p.m. on DeFazio Field. Then looking into October, they travel to the defending Division I champion and Bay State rival Natick on the 6th, also at 4 p.m. Now on to the boys. On Saturday, September 10th, they will travel out to Brookline to take on the defending state champs, the Warriors, and then later in the month, they will get another chance to take them down when the Warriors come to DeFazio on Thursday, September 22nd at 4 p.m. Now on to our defending state champs, girls volleyball. The marquee matchup everyone should mark down is the title rematch game against Bay State rivals Newton North on September 20th at 4 p.m. at Newton North High School. And then on Friday, September 30th, the girls will host Conquer Carlisle, the only team to beat the Rockets in three years, in the a -gym at 4 p.m. And those are the games to watch heading into the 2022 fall season.